The University of Oregon and county health officials are making a joint plea to the community to be safe ahead of Thanksgiving. The university is ramping up testing and making classes entirely remote at the end of the month, but will it be enough to stem infections? KZI 9 News reporter Jacob Roberts tells us how college students are among groups actually seeing a decrease in cases. Just ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday, more confirmation that cases in college age students are dropping. The university is pleased to see that the number of COVID-19 cases associated with the campus community have dropped dramatically. The alert level remains high, with 33 cases tied to campus in the last seven days. But the university says the peaks are leveling off. Still, students getting ready to visit family and friends in the months ahead is a concern. In preparation, classes will go entirely remote on November 3rd. 30th, meaning students can stay home through winter break. Every student living on campus will get tested this week, and students returning after Thanksgiving will get tested again. While cases decline among college students, another concern is rising. Outbreaks in the county appear to be getting worse. Or the outbreaks though. Jason Davis with Lane County Public Health noted a drastic increase at long-term care facilities. At Avermere River Park in Eugene, 78 cases have been reported. Cases have also been documented at football watch parties and birthday gatherings. A Halloween party was found to be the source of dozens of cases. Another bad sign, mask usage is down 5% over the last week, mainly in outdoor areas. One of the worst places, parks. Leaving it up to sort of the ability to put on a mask when someone is jogging towards you or if you're um, in, a, in an area that quickly becomes crowded, uh, it's just not a risk we want to take. Davis says they are thankful for parts of Governor Brown's two-week freeze, which is expected to help curb infections. In Eugene, Jacob Roberts, KEZI 9 News.